All right, guys, I'm going to get on with this. Whether anybody signs on live or not, that's not of interest. Um, I am going to try and post this on the uh, IGTV, though. So let's go over to numbers. These are the numbers. Sorry they're all sloppy. It's just kind of, you know, scratch paper. Um, so on the, on the Northern Lights plant that was right there running under the um, HLG R-Spec V2, it yielded... The total yield from that was 686 grams, which is right there. And that put us at 1.53 pounds. Okay, divided. Okay, we're going to base all of this off of 550 watts for each fixture. It may be a little bit, it may be less, it may be more. I've heard stories where they're a little bit less, stories where they're a little bit more. Um, if you guys know the actual numbers for what your five your uh, HLG 550R spec poles, then you guys can go ahead and, and adjust this these numbers for yourselves. But I'm just basing it off of 550 watts because I'm told it's just you know it's basically 550 watts a unit. I could be wrong. Um, it could vary, you know, minimally, you know, plus or minus a uh, yeah, percent or two. So anyway, what's up, guys? Good to see a couple people on here. I'm going to try and keep this up on the, um, the IGTV part of uh, the Instagram. So back to it is, um, so for, like I said, the Northern Lights plant was, these are all the numbers. It's just kind of staggered like this. You know how it goes when you're trying to trim and stuff is coming and going and you're trying to keep track of it, track of it all. So that Northern Lights plant with that 550 HLG R spec hanging up, Yielded 686 grams, which was 1.53 pounds. Um, you know, dividing that all came out to 1.247 grams per watt. Okay, and this today is June 6, 2020. So, um, what that says, if you can remember at the at the beginning of the, uh, we're patching up holes and shit. We're getting out of here, guys. We're gonna go to a bigger place more opportunity. So uh, what that says to me is at the beginning of this video series, I think you guys re, re, uh, remember me saying that um, if I yielded anything over one pound, I would be extremely happy. Okay, given the fact that that Northern, Lance Pla Northern Lights plant was, uh, oh, it was really uh, my negligence on why it didn't yield more. It, it was in a seven gallon air pot, the thing was starving. It was suffocating in that thing. And, um, you know, to be honest, I, I honestly believe it true, true in my heart that had I put that in a 15 gallon air pot, had I had more headroom or that plant been shorter, basically I would have loved to pull these HLGR spec lights further away from the plant, like another foot. I honestly believe had it been for those two very those two variables, I would have yielded another fuck at least another thirty percent more, thirty fifty percent more. So we could be looking at like, you know, another another fucking. Well, the potential was there. I know what the Northern Lights plant is capable of. So. That said, that's why I say that because I've grown that plant for 10 years. I know what it's, I know everything about it. And um, the potential was there and it was my negligence and why it fell short. So that's okay. But like I said in the beginning, if I yield anything over a pound, I would be completely infatuated. these numbers right now um, so for the spider farmer because we got the spider farmer SF 4000 numbers down here as well okay so let's get a couple um, factors out of the way first okay um, it was a different strain not saying it necessarily yields more but it, it was a different strain okay so that's a variable right there that you have to take into consideration and uh, um, I typically yield more on the Northern Light plant. So that said, there's also a second variable um, is the net and those lights. Okay, were 
or you know compare or comparing square footage on the net the the spider farmer net was eight square feet smaller see I put that right there okay what that means is that I didn't have enough room to really grow into the space that the northern light plant had available to itself okay so that's another factor these are all things to take into consideration when choosing your light or which one you think is uh, the best for you. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's good to see a couple people on here. Um, crunching the numbers. Okay. I'll do a hard post and post, uh, you know, I'll just kind of like write this up a little better. I just got done adding everything up and you know how it goes. So uh, um, so that, that net was smaller. It had two lights. Okay. And again, we are basing this off 550 watts. I am told they actually don't pull 550 watts. So if that's true, then that means gram per watt goes up. Um, if not, you know, plus or minus, you know, back and forth. So um, in the end, let's look at the numbers. I got a 460 bag, a 460 bag. You know, this is just random numbers me throwing out. Uh, 124 bag, a 28 gram bag. Another 224 gram bag, which brings the total to 1,296 grams, which equals 1.17 gram per watt, which equals 2.89 pounds. There you go. You got somebody right there. Horta Hydro says they only pull 480. If that's the case, and that gram per watt right there goes way up. Again, I'm just basing this off of what I am told. It, you know, I'm they pull 550 so adjust the numbers uh, what you will you can basically take um, you know the total weight here and divide that by um, your your wattage your consumption which is in this case I'm told 480 watts so that that brings it up significantly the gram per watt so um, now now that said okay let's think back to my old grow in this in this room here, my old grow. See, so we're, we're patching up holes and shit right now. Today, I got to get rid of all this equipment and stuff. But you know, in this room, we were doing between nine and ten pounds running um, one thousand watt Hortolux bulbs and pretty much the the baddest hoods reflectors that we could find at the time. So, um, and I was pulling between nine and ten pounds. Had I been pulling one gram per watt on those lights remember I'm pulling 10 pounds in this room at 10 by or excuse me a 12 by 11 room that's pretty fucking killer in itself okay but it's not over one gram per watt pulling like I want to say 11 and a half 12 pounds close to 12 pounds would have been one gram per watt you just do the math 5,000 grams divided by because it's a gram per watt had I pulled one gram per watt on those uh, traditional HID single-ended uh, high-pressure sodium lamps, I would have yielded close to 12 pounds. And never once in this room, I would love to tell you I did, you know, but never once in this room did I did I yield 12, close, even close to 12 pounds. I don't think I'm over 10 pounds. So that said, that was DWC, and we all know how DWC reacts. Um, you know what I'm at least what I'm capable of doing in DWC. So. Imagine putting this kind of tech and knowledge that I know now, LEDs are crushing your traditional high pressure sodium lamps. Um, imagine if I was to put, or anybody in the, for that matter, I'm not the only one that knows how to grow DWC, so put these numbers, put this technology over something, uh, a technique or a style that you're really, really good at growing and you're gonna fucking crush it. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, take this Northern Light situation here. Had that plant been healthy, okay? Had I had more headroom, had it been shorter, however you wanna put it, uh, had I had it been running in DWC, I would've hit over two grams per watt, which I have never done in my fucking life, okay? I'm always, completely content with hitting close to one gram per watt with traditional HID lights. I'm being honest with you guys, okay? I'm not trying to fluff this shit up. These are honest numbers, and you, you guys know from the past videos, I always give you honest numbers, okay? I am what I am, you know? My numbers are what they are. So, what's up, guys? 
Yeah. Okay. Good to see some people on here now. Um, so imagine putting this, these, this tech combined with DWC and my skills on DWC. I guarantee you, uh, I will hit over two grams per watt, which doubles my fucking yield. Okay. More than doubles my yield. I want to say it's like a 225% increase. Shit, sorry. I want to say it's like a 225% increase in yields. That's in fucking insane, guys. If I, if, and I know I can do that. I'm not just saying that to do that. I mean, right here, I'm already at 1.53. Or excuse me, 1.2. Excuse me, 1.24. I guarantee you I'm going to hit over 2 pounds. Uh, or 2 grams per watt. If I was running DWC... And the situation was ideal, okay? And we know it was not ideal. It was not completely fair with that plant that was set here. It was uh, it was starving for more space, more root space. I had to water that thing three times a day. And uh, typically, you shouldn't have to do that in cocoa. Um, it should, you should be able to have enough root space, enough soil space to where you saturate it. And it'll maybe come back and maybe come water it once a day, but not three times a day. That fucking plant was just hating life in that, in that, in that air pot. So um, I don't even want to call it air pot no more. People are giving me shit for that. It's a fabric pot, guys. Okay, and in my opinion, they're all very similar. So a fucking fabric pot. So um, sup, 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 sup. Good to see you guys. So um, these numbers right here tell tell me a lot and I hope they tell you a lot um, I'm surprised that this grow actually continued or even started to be honest it was a, it was a long run to even to get everybody on board um, you know and thank you guys to the companies that donated the equipment for this experiment okay um, it was mighty gracious of you both um, but for the greater good, because I know there's a lot of growers out there just like me that have been saying, fuck LED. I've already wasted, you know, five, six grand on that bullshit. And I'll never do it again. And I swear to God, I told everybody, fuck LED. I've been saying it for 10 years. But, you know, with the, uh, with the technology advancing over the last 10 years, I think it was time to give it another shot. And I'm glad I did. Okay, so it was, it was you know, for the greater good of letting everybody else know, like, what they're capable of. And what I'm telling you right now, um, when it comes to grams per watt, with these numbers, ditch your high-pressure sodium lamps. Throw them away. No more hoods. No more reflectors. I can't tell you how great it felt having um, how great it felt having. Um, sorry, you know, like fucking text messages. Having these lights up here that just were not bulky. I did not have to run any kind of air duct to them. None of that nonsense. There was very simple. Simplicity was there. User friendly. You just kind of hang it and forget it. And I loved, I just loved it. I enjoyed every second of the grow. They were fantastic lights. Um, there was some misconceptions on a lot of people saying, get them as close as you can. Get them as close as you can. Well, that is not true. Do not, these lights are intense. These lights are intense, and they will burn the fuck out of your plants if you get them too close. Basically, what I'm saying is, uh, let's just take this um, HLGR spec here that was sitting right here against this wall. Um, and this is all my observation, guys. You don't you just take it with a grain of salt. Don't don't take it to insult. Okay. Um, you know, I didn't have. I didn't have the opportunity to pull them back any further. I was max, maxed out either way, you know, from, from the floor to the ceiling. So um, I'm basically telling you if I had enough headroom and the plant was squat enough, I could pull a five by five, five foot by five foot canopy out of the plant and crush it possibly way over two grams per watt because that's what that light is capable of. Okay. That HLG light is intense. It's super, super intense. It, it needs to be pulled back. It can easily cover a five-foot canopy. And that's my personal observation. If you want to use it any other way, you know, on a three-footer, fine. Well, just keep it away. Just remember, don't burn your plants with these things because 
they are sensitive to the, uh, the intensity of the spectrums and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm no guru uh, when it comes to, you know, the LED technology. I know how to grow and uh, it doesn't, I can grow with any fucking light. I can grow with a T5, a, your desk lamp if you want. So understanding that, how strong those lights are, how intense they are. So anyway, um, a spider farmer. It could have done a lot better had I had eight more square feet. Okay, we were shy, eight square feet, uh, eight square feet smaller than the uh, Northern Lights canopy. Okay, but at the same time, it had another light. So, and um, again, they started to burn. I needed to be able to pull them back. I needed more space. I honestly think the Spider Farmer lights can handle a five foot canopy as well. So when all is said and done, it's a toss up. At this point, um, you know, people asking me which one's better. These are both fucking great lights, guys. It's a personal opinion, and that's it. Um, and I think I proved that. I do have the, you know, harvest video. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry about not being able to put that harvest video out for you guys. Because I've just been so busy tearing down the grow, going back to work, trying to tear this room down, get everything trimmed. It's and yeah, I just didn't have time to finalize that uh, YouTube video. So, uh, with all that said, I hope these numbers help you choose which lights to move forward in the future. Um, but if you if you're gonna move forward with HIDs in the future, um, now I'm comparing these to single ended single ended high pressure sodium lamps. I'm not comparing these to um, you know your double ended gabitas and shit like that. Okay. Um, don't take anything that I say out of context here. Um, I don't know personally. I've never run a, a double-ended Gavita lamp for its intended purpose, so I couldn't honestly give you any insight on now what does an LED compare to a, a Gavita double-ended lamp. I, I don't know. I've I've had them. I've run them, but they're too. F I've ran them in eight-foot ceilings. They're too fucking powerful to be running here. They need like twelve-foot ceilings. That's ideal. I think those, you know, lights can cover well over a five foot canopy. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah, ditching your motherfucking Raptors, ditch them. I'm telling you, um, uh, this was a no brainer. I, I was very pessimistic and tried to remain optimistic through the grow. And I am very, uh, pleased how everything turned out because it was insane the numbers when they added up let me tell you um i did not i didn't even have time to trim all that stuff myself what's up guys what's up what's up what's up uh i had other people do it for me so um yeah it was uh it's been fucking hard with all the covid stuff going on lately and me trying to relocate grows and taking this harvest down trying to keep up with the videos and you know, to, and work. It's just been it's been tough, you know, this COVID fucking crisis, and now we got the um, now you got the other things going on with the the riots and shit like that. Doesn't make you know my days any easier. But all right, guys, I'm gonna let you go, and hopefully I can share this and keep this around on the IGTV. Um, hopefully that works. I'm not exactly sure how that works, so um, I'm gonna let you go. You guys enjoy your Saturday, and it's been fun. I'm going to post those numbers in a hard post for everybody to see later on when I get a little bit more time here. i got to finish patching these holes. We've got like a second coat.